restrictions are allowing people to move from one um, European country to another. So I decided to go and uh, visit my friend Irene in France because traveling within Europe, European countries or within the Schengen countries is very easy. If you've, been, if you've ever been in Europe, you know. Once you have any European countries that you can travel, around 28 countries. So yeah, uh, let's travel together to France. So I'm waiting for my bus now. All these people here are waiting for the bus. And my bus is here. just boarded my bus and we are going to stop in three stops that is uh, Tubitina stop, Chiampino and Fumishino and through the way I'm going to show you my views from the bus so enjoy the views guys most of the land is covered by snow as you can see on this video here because um, Italy one factor about Italy is that it's mountainous 40% of its land is mountainous without counting hills This leads to majority of land having these beautiful sceneries. So enjoy guys Did you spot the settlements that are covered by the snow? Uh, a few seconds back if you didn't you can just rewind a few seconds and you'll notice all those settlements so our first stop is at Tibetina and then we are going to drop some people and then proceed to Champino Airport. Just in the airport now. I'm going to my gate. And it's the boarding time now, we're going to board the Ryan Hare plane. I landed in France. This is Marcel. Irene, Irene came for me with her friend. Yes. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> and Jack. Yes, it's me. Yes. So from Marcel Airport to Avignon uh, City, where Irene lives, is around one hour by car. So I had to uh, speed forward this video because it we captured so much. And can you see the difference between Italy and France on the same day? Because uh, in France, it's all sunny and warm, but in Italy, the land was covered by snow. So that's one of the things that I was able to enjoy during my Christmas holiday because I enjoyed the warm weather uh, in Avignon. Today is the Christmas day and we are walking around the city and seeing some beautiful places, landmarks and uh, now this is a, I don't know what is it? Palais de Pap. Okay, this is Palais de Pap. Is it Pap? Pap. So, Palais de Pap, which means Palace of the Pop in English, was constructed in 14th century to host pops during that time due to unrest that was happening in vatican in rome 
so it uh, it is a replica of the vatican in rome and these are the views during the day of Palady Park and then I will come another day during the evenings to show you the decorations and the, how it looks at night. On Christmas Eve, we did a photo shoot as you can see on these pictures. Then we prepared chapati, pilau, and I forgot to video. Hi guys, so I'm celebrating the Christmas on 25th. Today is on 27th. Yeah, and we've been uh, we've been able to walk around the city and see several um, several sites and features. So I will show you a vino during the day and some of the main landmarks in Avigno and then I'll also show you the decorations of Christmas and we compare with the L'Aquila okay so just come with me let's Unba. go <laughs> So the city of Avignon is at southeastern part of France and the city center is entirely enclosed by a wall as you can see here and this is because uh, it was constructed in 14th century and was used as residence for Andy Pope from Rome um, where there's a place called the Palais de Pape or the Palace of the Pope in English and the city is also set on um, is set along second largest river in france which is called river Rhone in english yeah and uh, uh so from one side of the road is the river and the other side is the wall and in the middle is the road that we are driving along so to the right we have the river and then to the left we have the wall then in the middle we have the roads. How is the public transport within Avignon? It's good. Personally, I have no complaint about the public transport. There are buses mm -hmm. and there's one tram. The tram just goes one one way. Uh, it's recent. The tram is recent. Yes. And the buses are quite reliable. I have no That's great. Oh. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> So that's the wall, that's the wall that we are going around it, yeah? Yes. You can see it, and then we are facing the sun, so we won't see the well. These, these are the type of buses, right? right. Yes. Right. As I said, the, there's a big river that is... Uh, surrounding or passing across the city and across you can see the developments are, that are within the wall so yeah that's what is happening and then outside the wall are the new kind of developments that have been there yeah that's it this is another uh, day and we are going to the outskirts of the Avenue city to visit one of the touristic attraction Catholic church or I, I think cathedral. Yeah, so we are going uh, to see what is there, the inside, the decorations and all that. Yeah. Your mana would have quit any name. The kind of bits. Sadna. Oh, no, yes, who? 
Simba nguona. Ono makubwana. Sisi tuna amini hata. That's the thing. Kuna concept. Plants in Itango are like ICT. Sasa kitu na maanisha hawezi ongea to the social revolution ama politics within like the school like you practice privately. Yeah. Yes. Simbaya vile It's another evening in Avinio and uh, every evening is an opportunity to stroll around so we are going to walk and see more touristic uh, places so yeah I'm going to show you uh, Avinio now in evening how it looks like and the decorations for the holidays so so guys there's this river run that passes along the wall can you see those birds that are flying yeah passes along the wall of the city and uh, it originates from switzerland from the alps then it's one of the biggest rivers and uh, the second largest <laughs> longest river in france and it is about 800 plus kilometers long yes These are the views from the eye point, which is actually the Palady Pub. I think the Palady Pub um, in Avigno is a reference point of every part of the city. Look at the beauty, guys. It looks so beautiful. This video is not doing this uh, place, uh, you know, justice. It's not doing it justice. I wish you could see it by your own eyes. So beautiful so beautiful this is still the palady pub and it's very beautiful from um, outside both during the day and at night look at it when the lights are on so from here we are going to see the decoration within the wall at the christmas market yeah and then we compare how the streets are decorated compared to l'aquila because i've shown you if you didn't see the l'aquila uh, christmas decoration i'm going to link the video here so that you can compare the two i think uh, there's a lot of similarities between the french and italian culture in terms of how they celebrate how they their food they are also most of the things their drinks yeah 
There's a lot of similarities in their culture. Okay, these are the type of decorations that are along the street in the city within the wall, right? Yes. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just like uh, in L'Aquila, we have a place where the kids can play. We also have a temporary skating area. And then the streets are very, I think the French, they just say all European cities are really invest in decorating uh, during holidays. And, and they, yeah, they are too extra, we can say that. And yeah, this is how it looks like. Along this side are uh, restaurants. I think eating outside is now very common because of COVID as well. More light. I love this color combination here. The streets are also cool, just like in Lafila. Because we are within the city center, the old city center, yeah, is our Moy Avenue in Nairobi, is the main street, the spine of the city. Yeah, and uh, along it are just shops, uh, commercial shops for clothes, shoes, restaurants, among others. What does it say? Avenue, Avenue City de Lumière. Woo! Okay, what she say? <laughs> So we are at the Christmas market and here we are going to see what is sold and we are going to take one of their snacks which they call crepe. Is it crepe? Okay, I'm not French, please. <laughs> For the kids. which is one of the typical uh, French street food and uh, I think it's seasonless, right? It is, yeah, it's, for throughout. it's throughout the year. So I'm going to take it and test it. I'm taking crepe with Nutella. Which one? In crepe Nutella? Yes. This one? Just one. One. Thank you. And this is Christine, by the way, <laughs> and Irene or Irene. <laughs> but they have not shown you all in all my videos. Imagine, <laughs> you don't want us there. <laughs> Are you embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are an embarrassment. <laughs> uh, my friend Christine wants to try uh, the hot wine, which is also a typical drink 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, tell us. So, yes, so this is um, hot white wine. Yeah. It is um, not as, as, as strong as you know the wine you'd get in the supermarket. Yeah. And then it is lightly spiced. Yeah. So it makes you feel kind of warm. I, I have had just one sip and it's yeah. really uh, yeah. kind of warms you up. It's yeah. Usually for I, winter. Mm -hmm. Just during yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only winter, yeah. winter drink. So, yeah, yeah. I like it. I will give you the yeah. full updates. <laughs> <laughs> I tried one in. Um, we in, even tried in Vienna. Yeah, yeah, I tried one in what do you call Prague, and it was very nice. But it was the red one, not the white. Okay, I'll try it as well. So we are getting into the church, which is very well decorated, like an animal zoo, as you can see. Looks so real. Look at the creativity, guys. This is beyond real. It looks like real thing, but is neat. It is so well done. So we are going to the last place that is decorated within the wall of Avignon city center to see the type of uh, the Christmas decorations that are there and this will wrap up our tour in Avigno during evening yeah so enjoy guys Avigno um, tour about the evenings, the, the light um, during Christmas holidays, and also the the views around the wall. So yeah, and uh, we also did a Christmas shooting with uh, matching PJs, and uh, I'm going to share the video here, or I've shared before. 
so whichever i don't know and the next video will be about Marcel town which is the second largest city in france mm -hmm. so say bye and call you bye <laughs> hey, bye, bye. bye. <laughs> stay tuned yes